Ms. Bailey, if you'll state your name. Yes, sir. And who you represent uh, and begin your testimony. My name is Phyllis Bailey. I'm speaking on behalf of the Chasewood subdivision located in the city of Houston and Fort Bend County. Chasewood is an upper middle class, predominantly African American community made up of professionals, small business owners, and retirees. In November 2010, we learned from a KHOU TV investigative report that our water was contaminated with high levels of salt water, oil, radon gas, uranium, and alpha particles. We have long suspected that something was wrong environmentally in our community. There are entire streets, as you've heard, where dozens of people have died of cancer. We don't know exactly when the contamination began, but the impact to the community has been catastrophic. Today we want to share with you what happens when the Texas Railroad Commission does not do its job. 44 out of 401 households have completed surveys, which represents 11 percent of the households. Information was collected for 160 64 individuals who resided in those 44 households during the time period 1985 to 2016. And 60 of these 164 residents reported being diagnosed with cancer, which is 37% of the residents of the 44 households. Residents reported using tap water from six months to 42 years. For decades, our families, children, and pets drank and bathed in poison water. We suspect that the contamination may be linked to unmonitored oil gas wells in close proximity to our groundwater well. That is, we recently came across correspondence, thanks to Lee Perry, and there's copies in your packet, from the Railroad Commission to one of the abandoned well operators informing them of the health and safety risks their wells if not immediately plugged. In that 2009 letter, the Railroad Commission stated that the abandoned wells are leaking salt water, oil, or gas, or are likely to leak such substances that's, that such leakage occurring or likely to occur will cause or will likely cause a serious threat of pollution or injury to the public health. The Railroad Com Mission dropped the ball in its failure to closely monitor these abandoned wells and it has placed us all in jeopardy. In addition to the cancer deaths that we're aware of, it may be years before we know all of the long-term health consequences associated with drinking this contaminated water. After the investigative report aired, a subsequent meeting with Mayor Anise Parker, her leadership team, and city council members was held to where they attempted to reassure us that there was no radiation, gas, or alpha particles in the water. However, the very next day, the city of Houston suspiciously moved quickly to plug our groundwater well and dismantled the water tanks behind our clubhouse. They did this without notifying the community and prevented us from getting water samples from the tank to be tested along with our pipes. The residents did not have the wherewithal to stop the city action. As you have heard from these families, they have been, they've been seriously impacted from the contamination in our water. We strongly support the Sunset Commission's recommendations to improve the monitoring and enforcement of wells, as well as increasing the bonding requirements for operators. However, the residents of Chase Chair Wood... Thompson has a question. Okay. Thank you. You were really going? I was trying <laughs> to get it all in. Let, let me ask you a question. Uh, uh, when you, uh, you say that you learned about the problem over the, over the, uh, from the news, right? Right. KHOU. Did the Railroad Commission ever notify you or any members of the community that there was a problem or there was a leaking abandoned well? Uh, uh, perhaps there may be some kind of health risk at state? We didn't hear, we didn't even know about the Railroad Commission until Mr. Perry walking the neighborhood tried to find somebody to give this information to. Did you ever get any information from the Railroad Commission? We, we've been failed by our public uh, elected officials across the board. City, state, federal. Okay, now since you learned, since you, all, since you became aware of that, did you ever find out whether or not that the abandoned well was actually ever plugged? We know for a fact that the wells, the t water tanks behind our clubhouse were dismantled. I have no proof that what they did up on Hillcroft, but over on FM 2234 are still some leaking wells that they have plugged, but what they've done is put tree limbs in these holes. Now, if somebody drives down 2234 and a spark ignites, 
Blue Ridge Elementary School was going to blow up. Oh, you're telling us there's a school near this. Yes, and other businesses and homes. And nobody's notified them officially. That, I would think, is something the Railroad Commission would do. And Mr. Perry, when he went to try to investigate, they had armed guards over there. They won't let you. It's on private property. Did you ever learn who the Wells may belong to? Well, we know that the one... I own the lease. Oh. <laughs> you wouldn't even let me own my lease. I'm the one trying it's, to take it's all, the Wells. I don't understand all of it. It's too deep for so, me. So you're telling us you don't know who the Wells belong to? No. It, the one that we do know that the letter that the Railroad Commission wrote to uh, is in your packet. It's in the first section. Did they ever tell you what kind of contaminants might have been in that well? Radon gas, uranium, alpha particles, uh, nitrates, salt water. And do you know whether or not the Railroad Commission ever did anything to work with the people who may have owned the wells to do anything about plugging them up, taking care of them, safeguarding the community, anything of that nature? Just that letter that they sent saying that the wells were dangerous to the public health. And so you still, so your statement to this committee is that you still believe that that well is still causing a lot of harm to the community at large? As far as we know, yes. Thank you very much. Yes. Thank Mr. Chairman. Uh, Ms. Thompson, thank you very much. I have a question for you, Ms. Bailey. So I'm assuming you got 10 people here tonight. Very impressive. Thank you very much for making the effort. I, I know uh, coming down from, uh, from here is from there is a little, a little rough, especially going home pretty late at night. When you rallied the troops like you have tonight in front of the Houston City Council, because I'm assuming you've done that, what, how did that go? They came to us. Okay. Mayor Parker brought her department heads and cancer specialists, but they pretty much sold us a bill of goods. They said it's safe, the water's safe, you have nothing to worry about, but the very next day, they came out and dismantled the water tank without telling us. And I was going to the airport, uh, Ms. Salzman, another neighbor, Ms. Bailey, they're taking down the tank. And these people got out here trying to block these workmen, and I said, you can't do that. Just let them go. We just called the news stations and everything, but they, they lied to us. And I'm not from the city of Houston, so help me, help yeah. me with this part, because I know in Round Rock, um, our members are at large. Mm -hmm. So is Houston at large? No, we have, um, we'll see now we have a new mayor, Sylvester Turner. It didn't happen on his watch. We have a new city councilman, Larry Green, but... <sighs> We, we didn't know what to do. We had lawyers who dropped us. You know, it's, it's been a really long saga. But we didn't know we had this proof until Mr. Perry walked in our neighborhood and gave us this smoking gun. So this, we, we came here because it was the Railroad Commission that wrote this letter. All right. I'm anxious to, uh, to know how the city of Houston reacts when you rally these troops and go to City Hall. Yeah. And present the We're going to do thing. that. Yeah. Absolutely, you're going to do yeah. that. Uh, I have all the same questions for your county commissioners. Um, because you, you mentioned the failure at all levels of government, so I'm going to ask you about the county commissioners. So you have presented this to your county commissioners. You've gone to commissioner's court. They've you've rallied come, the troops. Well, no, they've come to us. Thank now, you. let me tell you, Chasewood votes. We have put a lot of people in office, so they come to us. We don't have to go to them. But they have done nothing for us. So that's why we're here. Okay. Yeah. I appreciate it very much. We I would, appreciate I, I you listening. I would listening. continue to, to work with this body, and I would work with every level of government that represents you, and to focus in on the county level. I'd focus in at the city level, and I'd continue to knock on those doors and show up at those meetings just like you have here. A closer drive for you, I'm sure. Yeah. But I would continue to work at all levels of government. Well, one thing that I wanted to say is if we could have a... Um, the Department of, what is it, uh, Health and Safety do come out and do a study of this cluster. Because we've got a, a little sampling, but, you know, that's something we were hoping the Railroad Commission would work with to get a, a study done in our area.
Uh, Representative Thompson. Okay, and when you, if you find if you find that a well uh, is contaminated and has contaminated the drinking water of a community, do you notify that community of the contamination? Of contamination, we we work with the operator one to remediate that, and they are penalized. And then two, we work if there's a community, and I'm not aware of any at this time. But if there is a community, we would also potentially work with that community. Okay, then, and uh, we know of any. And that I don't think we have actually found any. That have that we've that there's been demonstrated have actually contaminated. Are you a commissioner, yeah. Commissioner Sitton? Okay. Yes. For the record. For the record, yes, ma'am. So Commissioner Craddock is right on all the processes that we follow, and I just turned around and asked behind me, and we don't have any. We have not found any that match that have actually shown to have contaminated groundwater source. 